Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. The subject of this program is the second part of Daniel chapter number 4. Now in the first part we discovered that the incredible numerology of Daniel indicated the fall of Barack Obama because the number 444 was succeeded by the number 666 which indicates the Antichrist and that was succeeded by the number 555 which indicates the defeat of the Antichrist by Mary's Rosary. Now in this part we will see that the tree which King Nebuchadnezzar dreams is cut down symbolizes not only himself but also Western civilization. The king as Daniel tells him, will go insane for seven years. But Daniel is also telling us that our Western civilization will also go insane for seven years. Let's look at verse 12 for a picture of this tree. The leaves thereof were fair. Now this means that Western civilization has a tremendous culture and beauty and art. The leaves thereof were fair, and the fruit thereof much, and in it was meat for all, the beasts of the field had shadow under it, and the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the boughs thereof, and all flesh was fed of it. So the beasts in this passage does not refer to the beasts in Revelation, the Antichrist and the false prophet. That's why Daniel refers to both beasts and fowls. Now what happens to this great tree after it is cut down? We will see that then will come the reign of the Antichrist, and the false prophet. Let's look at verse number 15. Nevertheless, leave the stump of his roots in the earth, bound with a band of iron and of brass, in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven, and let his portion be with the beasts in the grass of the earth. Now this stump is all that will be left of Western civilization. The band of iron and the band of brass, which will constrict Western civilization, is the one world government and the one world religion. These will constrict the growth of Western civilization for seven years. Now don't listen to the false prophets who say that this band of iron and band of brass symbolize Greece or Rome. This is false. They are mistakenly applying the king's dream in chapter number two to this passage. Now in chapter number two, the statue, the brass part of the statue, did symbolize Greece and the iron symbolized Rome. But it has nothing to do with this constriction on Western civilization. We can see how this brass and iron symbolize religion and government way back in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 23. And your heaven that is over your head shall be brass, and the earth that is under your feet shall be iron. Now this stricture on Western civilization this curbing of our, our growth will be due to the one world government and religion. Now the two beasts in the field symbolize the Antichrist and the false prophet. Now here the beasts do symbolize something other than animals. So verses 15, 16, and 17 predict from Daniel what is going to take the place of Western civilization. Verse number 16 let his heart be changed from man's, and let a beast's heart be given unto him, and let seven times pass over him. Now this beast's heart, which will be given to Western civilization, means that it is no longer humanitarian. It will become the false prophet. The Antichrist will be the head of the one world government, but the heart of the one world government will be the false prophet and the seven times refers to the seven year length of the tribulation period. Verse number 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men, and gives it to whomsoever he will, and sets up over it the basest of men. Now this basest of men can only refer to the Antichrist. The sobering part of this passage is that it is God who will appoint the Antichrist over Western civilization. We do not deserve any better. We deserve the tribulation that we are going to suffer through. Verse number 27. Wherefore, O king, 
let my counsel be acceptable unto thee, and break off thy sins by righteousness, and let thine iniquities by showing mercy to the poor, if it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility. So here, Daniel is telling the king and us that we can escape the prophesied seven years of tribulation if we return to Almighty God. Now in our case, that means we have to give up abortion, we have to give up interest in the occult, and we have to give up our greed. Personally, I don't see it happening. And when does this occur? At the end of 12 months, he walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. That 12 is a symbolic number. That refers to the end times. 12 is not only the last month in a year, but the last hour in a day. In other words, midnight. These end times are upon us. And the prophecies of Daniel in chapter number 4 are about to come upon us. But there is a happy ending if we live to Armageddon. Verse number 36. At the same time my reason, number 1, returned unto me. And for the glory, number 2, of my kingdom, mine honor, number 3, and brightness, number 4, returned unto me. And my counselors, number 5, and my lords, number 6, sought unto me, and I was established in my kingdom, number seven, and excellent majesty was added unto me, number eight. Now I enumerated the eight characteristics that are returned to the king, because eight is a number of new beginnings. And like all of the numerology in this chapter, and in fact in all of Daniel, it is very important, because end times numerology tells us that this is apocalyptic literature. Verse 37, Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of heaven, all whose works are truth, and his ways judgment, and those that walk in pride he is able to abase. So in conclusion, you need to read and study the book of Daniel. Daniel is one of the greatest prophets in the Old Testament, and that is why Jesus refers to him when he is telling his apostles about the end times. Daniel chapter number 4 prophesies the downfall of Barack Obama, the downfall of Western civilization, the taking over the, of the entire planet by the one world government, the one world religion, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. It is critical for us to understand the numerology and the symbolism if we are going to take to heart exactly what Daniel is telling us. And if you would like more information, or a free copy of my book, Revelation Unraveled, simply write to the address you see on your screen.